Hello, everybody. Hello, everyone. We're all together today. We're here. We're here. We're all together today. We're here. We're here. And who knows when we'll be all together again. Singing all together again. We're here. We're here. And I'd like to start by finding a friend. Find, find, find a friend. Give a wave or pat a hand. Can you find a friend? Find the person next to you and give them a wave or pat their hand. Find, find, find a friend. Give a wave or pat a hand. And I'm going to find my friend, Mary Louise. Hello, Mary Louise. Hello, Ailey. Very nice to see you again. In a dark, dark wood. There was a dark, dark house. In the dark, dark house, there was a dark, dark room. In the dark, dark room, there was a dark, dark cupboard. And in the dark, dark cupboard, there was a teddy. It was Wilf <laughs> in the dark, dark cupboard. Have you got Wilma with you, Mary Louise? Yes, I have. <laughs> oh, hello, Wilma. Hello, Wilf. Isn't this a good day? It is a good day. Today is a good day to hug a Ted. Today is a good day to hug a Ted. Today is a good day to hug a Ted. Yes, today is a good day to hug a Ted. I know what it's a good day for. It's a good day for patting a hand. Today is a good day to pat a hand. Today is a good day to pat a hand. Today is a good day to pat a hand. Yes, today is a good day to pat a hand. I wonder, Ailey, can you think of anything else it's a good day for? I think it's a good day to give a smile. <laughs> Today is a good day to give a smile. Today is a good day to give a smile. Today is a good day to give a smile. Yes, today is a good day to give a smile. Well, I think it's a good day to tell a story. And if you would like to join in with our story today, you could gather together some bits and bobs from around the house. You might want to get a tea caddy. But if you don't have a tea caddy, you could use a tin or a jar with a few bits of lentils or pasta or something inside to make a rattly noise. And you might want to get a mixing bowl with a wooden spoon. A little pot. If you have one with a lid, that would be great. And a duster or any kind of a cleaning cloth 
and we also need a big bit of fabric. If you've got something blue, that would be really good, but it doesn't really matter. You could use a sheet or any big bit of fabric you happen to have in the house. And if you don't have any of those things, it doesn't matter because you can just join in with the actions. There are lots of actions in this story. It's a story about a flea and a louse. Once upon a time, there was a flea and a louse, and they lived together in a little house. One day, the flea and the louse were shaking their sheets, and the flea, she fell, and she fell in the fire. So the louse, she weeps, she cries. <laughs> the louse cries. Now on the mantelpiece above the fire was the tea caddy. And the tea caddy said to the louse, louse, louse. Why do you weep? The flea and I were shaking our sheets. The flea, she fell and she fell in the fire. What can I do but weep? I have to cry. <laughs> well, if you are crying, said the tea caddy, I will jump. And so the tea caddy jumped and jumped and jumped. And the louse wept. Now on the counter, there was a little blue pot. And the little blue Pot heard the tea caddy jumping. Caddy, caddy, why do you jump? said the little blue pot. Well, the flea and the louse were shaking their sheets. The flea, she fell and she fell in the fire, and the louse, she weeps cries. So I jump, said the tea caddy. In that case, said the little pot, I will rattle. And the little pot rattled and rattled and rattled. Now, next to the pot on the counter was a bowl and a spoon. And the bowl and the spoon said, pot, pot, why do you rattle? Well, said the pot, the flea and the louse were shaking the sheets. The flea, she fell. She fell in the fire. And the louse, she weeps. She weeps. She cries. The tea caddy jumps. And so I rattle, said the pot. In that case, said the bowl, we will mix. They mixed. And they mixed. And they mixed. What a noise. Now hanging on a little peg near the bowl was a yellow duster. And the yellow duster heard 
the bowl mixing bowl bowl why do you mix said the little yellow duster well said the bowl the flea and the louse were shaking their sheets the flea she fell and she fell in the fire and the louse she weeps the tea caddy jumps the pot rattles and I mix, said the bull. In that case, said the duster, I will flap and flap and flap. And the duster flapped and flapped and flapped. Now, at the bottom of the garden was a little boggy loch. The boggy loch saw the duster flapping. Duster, duster, why are you flapping? said the boggy loch. Well, said the duster, the flea and the louse were shaking their sheets. The flea, she fell, she fell in the fire, and the louse, she weeps. The tea caddy jumps, the pot rattles, the bowl mixes, and I flap, said the duster. In that case, said the boggy loch, I will swell and the boggy loch began to swell. It got bigger and it got bigger and it got bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and down came the water. Down came the water and it covered the bowl and it covered the duster. It covered the little pot and it covered the tea caddy. It covered everything, even the fire. And so the fire went out and out came the flea with a hop, 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 hop. He looked around his little house. This house is too wet, he said, and this house is too noisy. Let us go to a new little house. And so the flea and the louse went away to a new little house. And they lived, can you guess? That's right, happily ever after. My goodness, that was a lot of water. I bet that someone could wash their clothes in all that water. Meet my friend the gorilla. He loves to wash his clothes and shake his sheets. Maybe you could help. Let's do some rub-a-dub-dubbing and then we'll have some gentle squeezing. Maybe you could squeeze somebody's hand when the gorilla's squeezing out the clothes and maybe we could have some nice folding of the clothes. Can you help with the folding? And there might be a little bit of leaping at the end. 
Down by the river where nobody goes, there's a big gorilla washing his clothes with the rubber dub here and the rubber dub there. That's the way he washes his clothes. Diddly dee, boogie woogie woogie, diddly dee, boogie woogie woogie, diddly dee, boogie woogie woogie. That's the way he washes his clothes. Down in the jungle where nobody goes, there's a big gorilla squeezing the clothes with a squeeze squeeze here and a squeeze squeeze there that's the way he washes his clothes diddly dee boogie woogie woogie diddly dee boogie woogie woogie diddly dee boogie woogie woogie that's the way he washes his clothes now the girl is going to peg out the clothes Get them nice and dry. Can you help me with the pegging? Down in the jungle where nobody goes, there's a big gorilla pegging his clothes with a peg peg here and a peg peg there. That's the way he pegs out his clothes. Diddly dee, boogie woogie woogie, diddly dee, boogie woogie woogie, diddly dee, boogie woogie woogie. That's the way he pegs his clothes. Now it's time for the folding, now that the clothes are all dry. Let's fold them together. Down in the jungle where nobody goes, there's a big gorilla folding his clothes with the fold, fold here and the fold, fold there. That's the way he folds his clothes. Diddly dee, boogie woogie woogie, diddly dee, boogie woogie woogie, diddly dee, boogie woogie woogie. That's the way he folds his clothes. Oh no, he's so tired. He's had a little sleep. Down in the jungle where nobody goes, there's the big gorilla. Asleep on the clothes with the <coughs> here and a <coughs> there. That's the way he sleeps on his clothes. <coughs> well. Just like that gorilla, I've been doing a bit of extra sleeping recently and a little bit of extra sitting on the couch. <laughs> and so has Wilf. Two little teddies sitting on the couch. One called Wilf and one called Wilma. Two little teddies sitting on the sofa. One called Wilf, one called Wilma. Jump up Wilf, jump up Wilma. Come back Wilf, come back Wilma. Shall we do that one more time? Two little teddies sitting on the sofa. One called Wilf, one called Wilma. Jump up, Wilf. Jump up, Wilma. Come back, Wilf. Come back, Wilma. <laughs> well, I think it's coming to the end of our time today. Shall we finish off with our cheerio song? Oh, that would be lovely. It goes like this. It was very nice to see you, but it's time for us to go. We've had a lovely time today, but now it's chill. Even if we feel a wee bit sad, it'll be okay, we know. It was very nice to see you, but it's time for us to go. It was very nice to see you, but it's time for us to go. We've had a lovely time today, but now it's cheerio. Even if we feel a wee bit sad, 
It'll be okay, we know it was very nice to see you, but it's time for us to go. We'll be back next week and we'll see you then. And may you always have walls for the winds, a roof for the rain, a warm, cosy bed, and a pillow for your head. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye. Cheerio. See you next time.